Ich habe Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn, elf, zwölf, dreizehn, vierzehn, fünfzehn, sechzehn, siebzehn, achtzehn, neunzehn, zehn, 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 R is okay. Since R is equal to 28 centimeter. R we have just calculated 28 centimeter. Therefore, this is the area 7, 4 is 28. 4, 8 is 4, 8 is 88 into 28 multiplied will give us total area. 88 is 64, 4, 6 is 30. 88 is 64 plus it will be 16. This is okay. 64 plus 10, and this is 8 here. 80. So 80 plus 6, 86. 6, 8 carry. 6 and 8 carry. Then 8 will be 16. 16 plus 8, 24. So 24, 64. This is the answer here. A square meter. Sorry, square centimeter. Hence, area is going to Hence, area of the circle given circle is equal to 2464 square centimeter. This is the answer here. This is question number 12 we have completed. Let us take now question number 30. Question number now 13. What does question number 13 say? Let me check it. Question number 13. Question 13 is a wire 70 a wire 72 centimeter long is bent to form a semicircle as shown. Okay, what is What will be the radius of the of this semicircle? So radius we have to find out. Now what is the? It says a wire 72 centimeter long is bent to form a semicircle. We are making a semicircle from a wire of 72 centimeter length of the wire. To 72 centimeter, 13 to 72 centimeters. This is A, B, and this is O point here. And this O point here. Okay, so total this this diameter plus circle, uh, half semicircle. What is given to us? of length 72 centimeters which is bent into a semicircle into a semicircle as given below as given below to find the radius to find the radius of the semicircle. Let me sum in semicircle means radius of the circle. Semicircle or radius or circle are having the same radius. So I mean this is the semicircle radius. So B or O A we have to find out. What is given to us? Oh, oh, sorry, <coughs> solution. Here, the length of the semicircular arc, the length of the semicircular arc, length of the semicircular arc, and the diameter. Why? Because AO, AB is diameter. 
is equal to 72 centimeters. Or what is the uh, semicircular circumference of the half circle, or you may say the semicircular uh, circumference? It is pi r only. Why? Because 2 pi r on 2 plus 2 into r. This is diameter here. Okay, so this is a a b the arc plus a b the length the diameter. A B is arc, arc A B is semicircular arc, length of the semi or uh, length of the half half circumference, 2 pi r upon 2 plus 2 into r diameter A B is diameter. So we have to put here 2 into 22 upon 7, 22 upon 7, okay, upon 2. Is it here? So this is 2 into pi upon 2 into r is not known plus 2 into r. So r we can take common. This is r into 2 to cancel out 22 upon 7. 22 upon 7 plus 2. This r we have taken common. So this is nothing but 70 to 14. So r into 14 plus 22. 36. But 14 plus 22, that is 36 upon 7. So this is 36, 70 to 14. LCM is 7. So this is 14 here, 70 to 14 plus 22, 36. Right? So R into 36 upon 7. This is the value. Now what is the therefore? R radius, but but R into 36 upon 7 is equal to 30, 72, sorry, this is 72 given, given this length 72 is equal to this, you got this diameter plus semicircular circumference the circumference of the half circle okay that is equal to 72 so this 72 let me now solve it for r so radius we have to find out what is the radius of the semicircle so r we have to find out is therefore r is equal to 72 into 7 upon 36 36 to the 72 it is 14 only so radius is 14 centimeter was <coughs> 36 to the 72, 7 to the 40, 14 centimeter is the radius of this semicircle. Answer here. Okay, so this we have to calculate. Now this is completed. This is question number. This is question number. Question 13 we have completed. Let me take now question number 14. Now question number 14. What does it say? Question number 14. Question 14 says A and B are two points on the circumference of a circle and C is a point on the major arc AB. If angle AOB, okay, what is given to us? Now try to understand. This is O point here. You know what is given to us? I will say it's A and B. Question number 14. Okay. A and B are the two points on the circumference of a circle. And C is a point on the major arc. Here, suppose C is here. This is AB. This is C point here. And this angle, I think, AOB is given to us. And A and B are the two points on the circumference of a circle, and C is a point on the major arc AB. This is major arc, and this is minor arc. AB is minor arc, BA is major arc. Okay. So on the major arc, we have taken point C. Okay. 
C is a point on the major arc AB. If angle AOB is 80 degree, where O is the center of the circle, and angle ACB, this angle A, this is 80 degree given to us. Okay. Now what is this? And angle ACB. Okay. Let's take 80 degree. 80 degree. What is given to us? Let me take given here a circle in which in which A and B are the points on the circumference on the circumference of the circle And C is a point in the major arc, in the major arc AB, in the major arc AB or ACB are doing. And angle AOB is equal to 80 degree, where, where O is the center of the circle. O is the center of the circle. To find, to find angle ACB. This we have to find. To find angle ACB is equal to what? Okay. Now we know that. That's a angle subtended by an arc on the center is twice of the angle subtended by the same arc or by okay, by that arc in the at any point in the other part of this uh, circle or other section of the circle say okay this is uh, let me take this segment other segment is minor uh, this is minor segment this is major segment so in the major segment if we take point c and this angle subtended by this minor arc or by the segment AB at the point this by the chord AB you may say at center O is twice this angle is twice of this angle so this is 40 degree angle so how we have to prove this if I join this point C let me join the point C to this what is this? this angle is sum of these two angles now these are the two red eye, same red eye, so this angle plus this angle, these two angles are same, the other, this is isosceles triangle, what the point, now this angle, this one, is equal to twice of this angle, but this angle equal to this, this is angle 1, angle 2, let me take this, 3 angle, this is 4 angle, and angle this, let me take, uh, 3, 4, this is 5 angle, this is 6th angle. Now, this exterior angle of this triangle equal to angle 3 plus angle 4. But angle 3 and angle 4 are equal. Because why? Because this isosceles triangle, this radius equal to this radius. These two sides are equal in a triangle. Then this is isosceles triangle. So angle made by those two sides, equal sides are equal. So this angle 4 equal to angle 3. So angle 3 equal to angle 4. That means twice of angle 3 equal to angle 3 plus angle 4 is twice of angle 3. Similarly, this twice of angle 2 is angle 1 plus angle 2 equal to this angle. This 5 angle plus 6 angle means 80 degree. So, sum of these two angles to twice of this whole angle. You can prove that. Okay, so we can say solution. Now, find out the solution. Since Angle ACB is half of angle AOB. Why? Since or as angle subtended by an arc 
or by a segment we may say by a chord AB okay or by arc AB by an arc AB at the center is twice of the angle is twice of the angle subtended by it subtended by it subtended by it by it means by this arc AB at any point in the other segment okay by it at any point in the other segment in the alter segment or alter segment maybe the alternate segment okay I point in the other segment in, in the other segment or in the other part of the circle okay now this is the chord here below this segment this segment is minor segment major segment if we take any point in the major segment and the angle subtended by this minor segment AB by minor chord AB at that point will be equal, will be twice of this angle this angle is half of this or this angle is twice of this angle it is 40 degree angle therefore angle ACB you will do half of angle 80 degree for AOB 80 degree 40 degree this is the answer here this angle ACB is 40 degree answer half of this 80, 80 degree okay. that is the question number question number which one 40 okay let us take now 15 question number 50 now question number 50 Right, only center square. All these questions are taken from the student queries. Why? Because those students who are, who are appearing in exams, they have just asked me online. Questions are online mostly, and some of them are okay in the class studies. But I have taught students for computer examinations 20 years back. Okay, I was teaching almost all kinds of computer examinations, but them I have taught okay for a number of years. All number of this is a lot of my experience. After that, I Okay, I'm now presently I'm teaching student for BTEC, MTEC, and uh, management students. Okay, MCA, BCA, uh, MCA, MBA, BBA, and BCA. Okay, so all the management students and engineering students are now currently teaching. But before that, I was teaching for computer examinations, all kinds of computer examinations GRE, GMAT, SET, CAT, MAT, double AOs, standard admission officials, PO, bank problem office, IS, PCS. So all types of computer examinations are covered. Okay, all for those are taken. These questions are from those students' queries. Okay, so please just try to understand that these questions are appearing coming in computer examinations like bank problem officers, double A's assistant administrative officers, okay, bank, and then okay, almost all kinds of exams in India and abroad in GMAT, GRE, SET also. Okay, and the CAT, MAT, SET, every kind of examinations. So all these questions are very much applicable for computer examinations. Or wherever they are applicable. I mean for that mathematics is required for computer examination, general knowledge of mathematics. This is geometry. Circular. Okay, so knowledge regarding circles. Now let me take other questions. Question number 14 we have completed. Now, question number 15. Okay, let me take now question number 15. What is we have done? Now question number 15. Question number 15 says that the diameter AB of a circle okay, is 10 cm and C is a point on the circumference of the circle such that BC is equal to 6 cm. What is the length of AC? Okay, so let me take the diameter AB of the circle is 10 cm. The diameter AB this is AB here is 10 cm and take this is O point diameter AB is 10 cm it says the diameter of AB of a circle is 10 cm and C is a point on the circle on the circumference of the circle such so that BC is equal to 6 cm and BC 
C is a point here. This is C point. B C is six centimeter. Okay. And A B is the diameter. Okay. B C is six centimeter. Now B C given to six centimeter. What is the length of A C? Now A C we have to find out. A C is what? Now we have the angle made by uh, in a or angle in a semi circle is a right angle. Okay, so that we know what. So what is given to us? Given here a circle with AB is equal to 10 centimeter as the diameter of it. As the diameter of it and BC is equal to BC is equal to 6 centimeter where C is the point is the point at circumference of the circle given of the circle given now we know that angle in a semicircle is a right angle diameter makes an angle this is right angle here try to understand if you find AC is equal to what solution we just say angle in a fins angle in a semicircle angle in a semicircle semicircle is a right angle it is a right angle angle made by the diameter in the semicircle we can say or ACB is right angle. So angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees. Semicircle. The angle in the semicircle is the right angle or angle made by diameter at the center or at any point in the any part of the circle. I mean that part of this part. Or we just say this is term at angle in the semicircle is the right angle. This is semicircle. Angle the same circle is right angle, angle AC is 90 degree. Therefore, in right angled triangle, the right angled triangle ACB. Now this is hypotenuse. AB is the hypotenuse. Is the hypotenuse. Therefore, AC square is equal to AB square minus BC square. This is by Pythagoras chop. By Pythagoras chop. By Pythagoras chop. This is by Pythagoras chop. This we know about what is AC square. We have to find out. So AC square is equal to AB is square is 10 centimeter given. This is 10 square minus BC 6 centimeter fixed square. This is 10 plus 6 in one bracket. In another bracket is 10 minus 6. It is 16 into 4. Therefore AC is equal to 4 into 2. That means 8 centimeter. Therefore, AC we have to calculate, which is 8 centimeters. This is the answer here. Okay, so this question number 15 ends. This is the end of the question number 15. Let us take now question number 16. Question number 16 now. Let me now clean this. Question 
Има всички неща. Question number 16. Question number 16 says, what is the perimeter of a semicircle of a semicircle of radius 7 cm? Perimeter. Perimeter means circumference and there is uh, diameter. Okay, that is perimeter means what is given to us. Question number 16 here. Question number 16. Yeah. The perimeter of oh, given a semicircle. Given a semicircle. We are given a semicircle here. A semicircle with radius. with a radius is going to be 7 cm yeah 7 cm of radius 7 cm semicircle of radius 7 cm to find simplest question this is to find perimeter of the semicircle Now oh, here, see here, now, this is a semicircle, but this diameter is also added up. Now, suppose this is C point here, so ACB plus AB is O point here, center. Okay, so perimeter solution. The perimeter of the semicircle of the semicircle is equal to this is AB plus ACB the arc AB this is 7 centimeter this is 7 plus 7 14 plus ACB is semicircular circumference this is 2 pi R upon 2 R is here 7 just let me write here D or twice R this is let me take twice R plus 2 pi R upon 2 okay so 2 R is 2 into 4 7 14 plus 2 to cancel out this is 14 plus this is pi so 22 upon 7 into 7 7 7 cancel out 22 plus 14 36 this is 36 centimeters. So, perimeter of this semicircle is perimeter means this AB is also added up. Otherwise, we could say half circumference, half circumference plus diameter. That is the semi. That is the perimeter of this. This answer here. This is the simplest question. 16th question number completed. Now, what is the 14? Sorry, 17th question. Let me take now 17. Question number 70. Question number 17 now. Question 17 says, what will be the cost of leveling and fencing? Leveling and fencing a circular playground having diameter of 112 meters. The cost of leveling is calculated at rupees 1 per meter and that of fencing at rupees 12.50 per meter. Okay. So what we have to find out, we are given here a circular field. Cost of leveling and fencing is circular playground. 
in a circular playground here. So it is to be fenced and labeled. Okay, so what is the diameter given to us? We are given here the cost of fencing a circle 112 meter diameter. Diameter is is O here AB is 112 meter diameter. Diameter is 112 meter. 112 meter diameter. If the cost of leveling a circle, okay, is calculated at rupees one per meter. What is given to us? Given a circular playground, a circular playground with diameter. Diameter equal to 112 meter. Okay, and and cost of leveling equal to rupees one. Cost of leveling is equal to rupees one per meter. Per meter. Per meter and get of fencing at rupees 12 per meter. Fencing okay, one per meter and the debt of fencing at rupees 12. Leveling is calculated. What will be the cost of leveling and fencing a circular playground? Okay, having diameter of this much. Okay, so let us rupees per meter and cost of. Fencing cost cost of fencing is equal to rupees fifty point six zero fifty point sorry twelve point five zero it is twelve point five zero per meter okay so only leveling leveling what we have to level here okay so let us take this after five minutes.